Big day in Gauteng province as well. Gauteng Premier David Mukura uh, facing a tough audience when he delivers his state of the province address this morning. Yeah, he's been criticised for the poor service delivery uh, within the province. And reporter Pulele Shudi Jones uh, joins us live now from the Brixton Multipurpose Centre where the uh, SOPA will, of course, uh, take place this very day. Pulele, good to have you this morning. We could see everyone already uh, coming in, walking what looks like a red carpet just behind you. But just give us context, if you may, please, at this time uh, in terms of what is expected from David Makura this morning. Yes, very good morning, Dumela. No, quite a lot of you know issues have to be addressed by the Gauteng Premier this morning. You know, his address comes at a time where the province is, of course, facing you know a huge unemployment crisis, sitting at about 30 percent. Um, while there's also issues around when the matter of e-tolls will be resolved, amongst others, we do understand that opposition parties have criticised them for not living up to the expectations of having implemented some of the strategies he said he would in his previous. Um, a SOPA address, which includes, of course, infrastructure uh, development there in the ICT um, uh, field, um, issues of not having to pump in a lot of um, financial solutions into the health department, not curbing um, you know, corruption, particularly after what we saw in the SIU PPE report, where the province was extensively you know, reported on, saying that there were a lot of executives, particularly in the health department, who were implicated in some of these um, corruption scandals such as that of the the anglo gold um, irregularities which we recently saw where nine officials were impl implicated so there's quite a lot that will be happening um, the premier spoke exclusively to us to my colleague govan woodsells and he did mention that he would his address would focus on service delivery but there also um, the analysts are saying there must be a time frame and of course plans as to how this service delivery will be implemented otherwise they have dubbed it to be a same as the um, similar rhetoric we saw just last week, this, the last week in the northwest, where um, the Premier Bushimabe also uh, gave his state of the province address, saying it did not have pragmatic solutions as to how it would resolve service delivery. But on the logistics part of things, I want us to speak to the um, provincial secre uh, pr secretary of the legislature here in Gauteng, Mr. Mr. Peter Skosana. Thank you very much for joining us in ENC, Mr. Kusan. So, quite a lot has gone into um, you know, organizing this um, event, but as well, I also want us to focus on the financial side of this. Has this been costly, particularly looking at the fact that it's not being organized at the original provincial legislature? Well, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, we appreciate this uh, opportunity. This is an important event, the state of the province address. It's an opportunity that the legislature provides for the premier to firstly account for the commitments that have been made previously, secondly to make a commitment okay, and outline plans for the rest of the, uh, of, of, of the year. These plans will form the basis of uh, engagement between the legislature and the executive. And in the process, the people will also be involved in that uh, regard as part of uh, holding the executive accountable. But with regard to the preparations for the uh, event, we are quite excited about uh, where we are at this stage. Everything has gone extremely, extremely well. We've had uh, teams of uh, colleagues working you know, uh, stretching themselves and outdoing themselves really in uh, hosting this uh, event. As you can see, the preparations we're ready uh, to go. Um, the, the, we're holding this event here because, uh, as you know, our legislature will not be able to accommodate this number of people and at the same time be able to comply with the COVID-19 regulations. So we had to engage with the city of Johannesburg to come to this uh, Brixton Multipurpose Centre to have this uh, event. Do we know how much this event cost? Well, what, uh, what we have budgeted for is about uh, three million. This is not what it will cost. This is the budget. And uh, what we hope to do is that uh, after the event, we will have uh, a media uh, briefing again where we outline all the costs that would have been incurred. But in addition to that, this will also be form part of the, uh, you know, the audit by the Auditor General, just to make a determination of whether we 
spend public money appropriately and whether this was really value for money. Thank you very much, Mr. Skosana. I don't have time, but I'll have to throw it back to my colleague, I'm in the studio. But I just want to show you that this is some of the arrival of the you know dignitaries here who are expected to attend this so far. Quite a you know a, a situation whereby the premier will be taking the hot seat, particularly after a chastening local government elections that saw the ANC losing its key metros in Gauteng, including um Twane, Johannesburg, and of course City of Ekulene. We'll be expecting most people will, will be expecting much from the premier as to what are some of his plans he will outline, particularly around not living some of the expectations he'd said he'd deliver, including the issue of lifestyling audits and of course like I said earlier fighting corruption in the province. And I think many people fully are going to want to hear the same words that Dr. Uh, JJ Tabane has been echoing jobs 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 whose job is it to create the jobs. Right. We're back to uh, Pulele Tweety Jones terms a little bit later uh, this morning 10 a.m. that gets underway state of the province address.